here with Fred from Team FredNet. Fred, you're one of the few, maybe the only one, who's been to all four of the team summits. This was the first time we had all the teams presenting to each other. Uh, what did you learn from that? Well, I learned that my competitors are doing quite well with their programs. They're all moving along quite nicely, and uh, I think we have some good competition. Moon 2.0 to me means taking the moon and all of space out of the hands of government and opening up that access to commercial companies, opening it up to people all over the world, making it something that is accessible, open, and usable, making it a new frontier as it really should be, and making it something that allows us all to do something that changes the world and makes it better for future generations. The earliest memories I have, all I wanted to do was get into space, go to the moon, build things to go into space and build things to go to the moon. And when I heard the announcement, I knew that that's, what I, that's why I'm here. I've got to do this. I've got to try. I may not succeed, but I've got to try. And so I tried to find a way to do this, knowing that I'm not a billionaire and, and you need a lot of money to do this. Uh, I saw this as an opportunity to use some of the same tools that we use to build things like the internet and Linux open source systems. And I thought, is there a way to apply that to reaching a big goal, like getting into space? And, and I thought, that's really the answer, is getting a lot of people to join in this vision and cooperate. And by cooperation, we can achieve so much more. What have been the major developments with Team FredNet since the last summit um, eight months ago? Uh, major developments are a number of educational partnerships. We have uh, university partners at Stephen F. Austin University in Texas, uh, Moorhead State University in Kentucky, um, uh, Broward College in Florida. We're, de we're developing an open space payloads workshop series that will start in June of next year. And we have now partnered with Mast and Space Systems to develop our lander. We'll be conducting our first flight tests within the next three to four months. We started our approach by designing a very small system. We wanted to build the simplest system possible that could achieve the goals of the mission. And low mass makes it much easier to, to get something on the moon than large mass. So we started with the idea of a very small rover, and we actually found out that there's a size limit you can't go below. You can't have a rover that's too small, or the low gravity on the moon and the, the structure of the regolith doesn't allow you to move. So we actually had to scale our rover up and make it bigger. Um, and so we came up with three different designs. We have a ball design, which is a completely sealed system, and it moves well in lunar regolith. Uh, it'll move across the surface, it can climb hills, it can be stable on slopes, and the camera and all of the components are internal, so it's not going to get polluted by dust. There is the problem of dust collecting on the outside. Uh, we hope to resolve that by not stirring any up to start with. The other design is a two-wheeled rover design, and this was developed just to be unique. The guy who's doing it wanted to do something that was completely different from everybody else. The third rover design is a four-wheeled, more classical design, but it has drives going in both directions, so it can travel forward or backward equally well. And we're planning on sending all three of these designs on the same lander. The people who are following along at home, who are fans and enthusiasts of Team FredNet or of the Google Lunar Enterprise as a whole, what can they do to get involved and to help out the team? Well, first and foremost, we have to raise a lot of money to pay for our launch. Uh, so if you're willing to contribute a few dollars here and there, uh, we only need to raise, I think, two uh, million, two million dollars for our down payment on our launch. So if you have to spare lunch money, that would help us along quite a bit. Um, the other things you can do is go to our forum and go to our website and visit our forum and website. Sign up and join us. We're an open participation team. Anyone is welcome to, to join in and contribute however they're, they're able. Fantastic. And, and just a final question to you, what are you hoping to see by the next Team Summit? Um, I'm hoping to see that we already have a launch acquired and that we're beginning payload integration. That's fantastic. Well, thanks and good luck. Thank you.